inside here is a, the reaction chamber where we're bringing in the ammonia and other sources like trimethyl gallium, mixing them at an elevated temperature, normally close to 1100 degrees C. There we actually grow the gallium nitrite material on the selected substrate. Next to the machine over here is, is the uh, load lock or uh, sample preparation chamber where we'll introduce the wafers and the plant minimize impurity so we keep the deposition chamber exceedingly clean for and of high purity. The DARPA SUVOS program is primarily interested in developing biological agent detection systems that are small and portable so that the soldier in the field can deploy these and have it be a reliable detection system for biological agents. The UV LED that we're developing is a small point source that emits light in the UV spectrum, but doesn't emit light in other parts of the spectrum. It has a very narrow emission compared to, say, your black light. Your black light typically will emit in lots of other area parts of the spectrum, as well as it's not very efficient compared to the UV light that we would develop with the LEDs. In this, in this system here, we're depositing um, gallium nitride materials to do LEDs or high-powered electronics. Well, another potential use for these ultraviolet uh, sensors or ultraviolet light emitters is to use them to detect nuclear materials. One of the primary interests that we have in developing these gallium nitride materials is for their potential use in solid state lighting or lighting like room lighting. And if you get high efficiency LEDs, you can get them up to 50, 55 percent efficient. That is converting electricity 50, with a 55 percent efficiency into light. This is much more efficient than your incandescent light bulbs, which are typically around 10 to 15 percent, and the, lumen, the uh, fluorescent light bulbs are typically around 20 to 25 percent efficient.